Hello Willoughby and welcome to 2024. We're happy to announce continued progress on the transformational projects throughout our city. The first is the Chagrin River Floodplain Restoration Project. You may remember that this project was made available by a grant from NOAA to purchase 105 acres along the Chagrin River. This project includes 100 plus acres along the Chagrin River acquired from the Andrews Osborne Academy through a grant from NOAA. We recently toured the site and developed initial ideas for design that will include a passive park with trails after the restoration to ensure environmental and sustainability and resilience. This project is a critical piece in the effort to connect Todd Field and Daniels Park. For Osborne Park, we recently completed the working drawings and submitted for permit for the coastal restoration and erosion control measures that will be needed to stabilize this valuable asset. You may have noticed a new addition to our parking lot at Willoughby City Hall. We have just added two Leviton Level 2 charging stations for EVs. These stations can accommodate up to four electric vehicles at the charging rate of about $1.40 per kilowatt hour. Parking at the stations is permitted only while charging and no overnight parking will be permitted. Funding for these stations and their installation came from a grant awarded by NOPAC. While charging, we hope that you will take the opportunity to experience our historic downtown and Todd Field. These stations are one of only two EV charging locations in Willoughby. However, we were recently notified that NOACA has awarded funding for three more charging stations in our city. Every six years, we are required to review our city charter, which is effectively the constitution of the city of Willoughby. We recently appointed our Charter Review Commission, which consists of nine members, one appointed by each of our seven council members and two appointed by the mayor. Their work begins immediately and should be completed by the end of June. The recommendations will then go to council who must approve them during the month of July. If recommended charter changes are approved by council, they will be on the November 2024 ballot and must be approved by the voters. You may have recently heard, or if you're a pool pass member, may have recently been notified that our Euclid Avenue pool will be closed. The pool is over 60 years old and the most recent renovations are over 20 years old. The main reason is safety concerns. Inspections have highlighted areas that require immediate attention to meet the highest safety standards. Also, other repairs are required to keep the pool open in a cost-effective manner. For example, the pool last year was leaking 3,000 gallons a day through our summer season. The good news is our Osborne Park pool will be open this summer. This pool features similar amenities to the Euclid Avenue pool, including zero depth entrance, water features, play structures, and a place for swim lessons and our swim team. The city will be providing transportation from the Euclid Avenue pool to Osborne Park for the convenience of our residents. During the closure of the Euclid Avenue pool, the city intends to hire a consulting firm to develop a comprehensive master plan to analyze the best use of the current space, including an aquatics component. We will also consider the possibility of expanding the recreational footprint as the current police station will become vacant when the department relocates to the new station in the former Meister Media building. A couple of upcoming events to put on your calendar. The first is our annual Easter egg hunt on Saturday, March 23rd at South High Stadium. This event will start at 12 noon and is for kids 10 years and younger. The second event is our Solar Eclipse Watch Party on April 8th at Osborne Park from 1 to 5. We'll have food trucks, a DJ, and 600 pair of solar eclipse glasses. See you there.